that was pretty clean. Hi, I'm Aymon, and welcome back to one of my videos. And I was just trying out this new cordless saw that my dad got, and he wanted to challenge me to see if I could cut a straight cut, and it's pretty smooth to me. It's not totally straight, but hopefully as I start using the tool more, I'll get better at it. But today's video is not about the cordless saw. Today, it's about renovating our patio. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about building uh, the frame of the patio and installing it. It's not gonna be a how-to, uh, mainly because this is something that's mostly unique to us for a few reasons, which I'll get to later. But also, it's more of a vlog style of just explaining how we're renovating our patio. All right, so this is our back porch or patio. It's open air, which means that during the summer, it's quite nice, but during the winter, it's very windy and it's not very, very nice to stay in there. So what my mom wants to do is she wants to change it into a living quarters or a sunroom. And judging from what uh, she saw my dad do with the chicken coop, if you're interested, go check out that video. She was like, okay, so my dad could definitely do something like this. And as you can see, it's, it's very messy. You should have seen what it looked like before because we moved all the stuff out. But right now it's very messy. We have this tarp up here so that we can cover it up for the winter so that snow doesn't get inside. And uh, I guess this is what the inside of the patio looks like. Now, the reason that we're doing this is so that we can use the, the new sunroom or living quarters as like a place to, a space to use when we're having parties during the summer. Like my friends can come inside instead of messing up the living room because I know my mom's biggest fear with with parties is that after parties you always have to clean up the living room and it's always a big deal. So hopefully when the sun room is done we'll be able to use it as a recreational space and uh, during the summer. Alright so right here is the first steps in making our sunroom or living space and it's the frame for the window or the wall. And this is what the old structure looked like. It had this railing with this last structure and we completely took that out and installed this new frame in it. And I'm going to talk about more about the frame in a minute but I think it's very fitting that my dad's actually doing this project because I'm actually studying engineering at my school, ESOMS, which is an engineering school. And we're learning all about things like building residential wood frame, uh, wood, wood structures and insulation and all the tips and tricks you need to know about civil engineering. So I think it's very fitting because my dad while he's building this 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 uh this sunroom or I guess you could call it close to a house actually. While he's building this house, I'm going to help him and I'm going to learn get even more learning uh about how to build a house. Uh because I guess it also helps because right now it's online learning. So this is actually going to get me some real life exposure into civil engineering. All right, so talking about the frame we actually have to make sure that we have it in a diagram first. And you know, my dad's an average Joe. He's not like he's not a master at drawing, but he definitely had a vision for what the sunroom he wanted to, the sunroom to look like. And so he drew it out. And I guess the the disadvantage to working on a patio is that you have to build around the structure. Like it's pretty easy to build a new house, but to build around a previous structure that's a bit hard. Although I guess the the advantage is that. You don't have to worry about uh, all the other like calculations like load bearing because I'll get I'll talk about that later. But anyway, this is what our diagrams look like. We had to make sure that we abided by building code. And we looked online and we found this uh, this guideline for what the building should look like or the frame should look like. And so we based this we based our diagrams off of this uh, these building codes and now as you can see this is what our design is going to look like. So first off this is what the actual frame of the patio looks like. That's this side of the wall. After we take out the fences or the railings, this is what it's going to look like. And then what we're going to do is we're going to install this on the side, that side. Uh, and we're going to, we're going to, first we're going to build all the frames. So you already saw the middle frame right here. And then on the right side and the left side, we're also going to insert similar frames. On the right side and the left side, we're only going to have one window instead of two. But you'll see in my next few videos on actually updating what the porch renovations look like, what it actually looks like. 
But that's the general idea. I guess another consideration you have to take into uh, consideration is like the size of things like windows. And for example, we have a three by two feet window here, but on the back wall, we're gonna have a four by two feet. So there's just a ton of considerations that you have to take into account when you're building or renovating a patio. You might be wondering why we're building frames instead of directly mounting the wall, or d directly mounting the wood on the wall. And the reason why is because like I said earlier, it's easier to create an entire new structure rather than building around the old one. And in addition, we also have to plan around the old structure. Like in this diagram, because, because of the age of the patio, on one side of it, it's smaller, 74th and 7 8th of an inch, than on the other side, which is 75 inches. So we also have to plan for that. We have to be very precise in, in, uh, in building the sunroof. And that's why we are building the frames separately from the patio, so that we can install them later, but also that we can give them the precision that they're required. Um, where did I put the tape measure? Okay. There are many advantages to building the frame first and then installing it into the patio. First off, like if you make any mistakes like while you're mounting it in the patio, it's it's much harder to change it than if you're building it on a frame. So first off, talking going back to what I was talking about pre with precision, like all of these dimensions are perfectly aligned. This is 30 inches. This is also 30 inches wide. And this is the same for pretty much everything. This is gonna be 27. This is also gonna be 27. And I think it's important to mention that these are all actually cut by, by my dad using this cordless saw. And those, those other saws right there, those were all for display. He hasn't had to use them yet. Only this cordless saw. And I think this, this project is also good because it also gave my dad an excuse to buy a new tool. Because my dad can't just buy tools out of nowhere because then my mom would say, what, you bought another tool? We have, hun we have hundreds of them. And now he has his own cordless saw that he can use for all of his woodworking projects. Uh, just, to, just, to, uh, uh, just to make note of it, this is actually the right and left side frames that we're going to install into the patio leaf. They're very, they're actually almost identical to the middle frame and the reason that we and i said before that we were using four windows even though if you have three of these frames and you have two windows per frame it's six we're actually going to be covering up the right side of the right wall and the left window of the left wall and this is the reason why is so that if we ever need to install a new window we can always just break the wall open and then install the window but also the, the most important reason why is windows are expensive. I didn't know this, but like a three by two feet glass pane of uh, uh, glass pane costs a hundred dollars. We're installing four of them, which is four hundred dollars just for this wall. And I know my mom likes is a very a big fan of natural light, but my dad, he can work in complete. He he likes he likes the darkness. So it's. It's it's a bit of a hard. It was a bit of a task to find a balance between how many windows we want to uh, we want to buy because we have to consider what we want and also the costs. All right, so I don't want to make this video too long. So in the next video, we're actually going to be talking more about how to build a frame, and we're also going to be installing the frame. And I'm going to get my brother Azami here to help me install it into the side wall. So I'm Ayman, and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on Ayman, Ayman, especially our vlogs and our videos on renovating our patio. Very soon we'll have a huge playlist of all of our civil engineering exploits. But for now, uh, I'm Ayman and that's Bella. And signing out, peace.